Solar Bread Green Greg here, and today we're gonna to talk about the Tesla Powerwall 3. There's some very important updates for Q4 that you need to know. And also, I'll answer some FAQs that nobody else will. So stay tuned. Is the Tesla Powerwall 3 AC or DC coupled? So the Tesla Powerwall 3 is DC coupled. However, a new update allows the Powerwall 3 to be AC coupled. So now it can be used for both new as well as existing systems and as a standalone battery without solar. In case you're not familiar with what DC or AC coupling is, let me show you real quick. So in this example, an AC coupled battery, Powerwall 2, you'll notice here on the top left that solar panels output DC power. Well, of course, we need AC power for our home. So there's a separate solar inverter that converts the DC power to AC, and that goes back to the circuit panel. Now, in the case of an AC coupled battery, the batteries are also DC. And again, we need to convert it over to AC. So the Powerwall 2 has an inverter to convert that DC power over to AC. And then that goes to your circuit panel. So your home can use it. So you'll notice here, again, that for the solar panels, we need a separate inverter to do the conversions. And by the way, AC coupled systems are mainly used uh, for add-ons or standalone batteries, but it could be used for new systems as well. So it has the most flexibility. Now let's compare that with a DC coupled system, which is mainly used for new installs. Again, you notice the solar panels put out DC power and the Tesla Powerwall 3 has a built-in solar inverter that does the conversion for the solar panels, as well as does the conversion for the batteries to AC power so your home can use it. You'll notice we don't have to have a separate inverter, but this type of battery is mostly suitable for new solar installs. So let's go over the different Tesla power walls. So we have the Tesla Powerwall Plus, which is DC coupled. And again, that's suitable for new systems. We have the Powerwall 2, and that's AC coupled. That can be used for both new and existing systems, as well as a standalone battery. And we have the Powerwall 3, which now, with this latest update, can be DC or AC coupled. So it can be used in new systems, on existing systems, as a standalone battery. So the Powerwall 3 has a lot of flexibility as well as a lot better specs. And so that's why the Powerwall Plus and the Powerwall 2 is now discontinued and Tesla will only sell the Powerwall 3. There's no reason to have those other models. The Powerwall 3 is far superior in performance. Can the Powerwall 3 be used with microinverters, such as Enphase? Yes. After this new update, it can be used with Enphase and other microinverters. Does Powerwall 3 work with SolarEdge? Yes. It can work with SolarEdge as long as it's AC coupled. Can the Powerwall 3 be added to existing solar systems? And can Powerwall 3 be used with other solar systems that are not Tesla? And the answer to the both of those is yes. The Tesla Powerwall 3 can be used with any home solar system or as a standalone battery without solar. Is Powerwall 3 available in three phase? Right now it's only single phase, uh, but Tesla is working on a three phase Powerwall 3 for the US market, we're expecting it the end of 2024. And hopefully they will follow up with a three phase version for the international markets. What is the Powerwall 3 chemistry? Is the Powerwall 3 an LFP battery, lithium iron phosphate? Well, the battery cells are made by CATL and they make a lot of the EV batteries, including the new Tesla vehicle batteries. 
the Mega Pack batteries and the Powerwall batteries. CATL uses LFP chemistry. Now, Tesla has not specifically said whether the Powerwall 3 is LFP, but based on the fact that CATL uh, is using LFP chemistry and, and also based on a review of the Powerwall 3 specs um, by experts, they said it is indeed an LFP battery. But unfortunately, I have not seen a statement from Tesla saying that it is an LFP. Um, LFP does have some advantages, including less chance of thermal runaway, a little bit easier to comply with building codes with LFP. How many power walls do I need? Well, you have to look at what is the purpose of the battery. Are you looking for backup power only? Are you looking to do self-consumption? Are you looking at peak shaving? And what is your electric usage in kilowatt hours per day? You may need one, maybe two Powerwall batteries for most homes in most cases. How many Powerwall 3s needed for backup power? And how long will a Powerwall 3 last in an outage? This is a great question. First, you have to look at what is the capacity. The Powerwall 3 is 13.5 kilowatt hours. And then you have to look at what is your daily electric use in kilowatt hours. So uh, for this particular home, the average use was 34 kilowatt hours a day. However, if you look at the bar chart, you will notice that the summer months, it's a lot higher electric use. Why is that? Because this home is in Florida and in the summer, we use a lot of air conditioning. So in this case, I would, not use the average kilowatt hours per day, but a number that's a little bit higher than that in case you have a power outage during the summer. So just to make the number simple, I'm gonna use 40 kilowatt hours. So let's do the calculation. If you're using 40 kilowatt hours a day divided by 24 hours, that's an average of about 1.66 kilowatt hours per hour on average. Now, Take 13.5 divided by 1.66, and you have roughly about eight hours of backup usage, assuming you have no sun on your solar panels. Of course, if you do have sun on your solar panels or even partial sun, you'll get more than eight hours of backup power. Also, if you have the power outage at night while you're sleeping, your power use is probably lower during those hours. And again, that battery will probably last longer. Likewise, if the power outage happens during say a real busy time for your home, like the morning when everybody's making a breakfast and taking showers, then it might be a little bit less than eight hours. But eight hours on one Powerwall 3 is really fantastic. Some previous models, you would have needed two Powerwalls, maybe more. What is Tesla Powerwall self-powered mode? Um, in industry, we call this self-consumption, by the way. So let me explain a little bit how the Powerwall works with normal net metering. When you have net metering, you usually use some of the kilowatt hours in the home, and the excess is fed back to the utility company, and the meter spins backwards. You get a credit, right? However, if you're on self-powered mode, you will not export electric back to utility. Instead, all that excess goes to your battery. There are some utilities, by the way, that do not allow um, solar excess to be exported to the grid. So that's one reason why people sometimes um, do self-consumption. Also, by the way, maybe the uh, feedback rate to the utility company is low. Maybe when they feed it to utility, it's half the rate um, compared to what the retail rate is, and so they rather keep it in the battery. So uh, for that reason, what you normally do on self-powered or self-consumption mode is any excess electric is stored in your battery, and then you're using that excess at nighttime when your solar system is not producing any electric. 
And so you're basically keeping all your kilowatt hours for your own home. I should add, by the way, you still uh, will get a minimum monthly fee, even if you generate and keep your own kilowatt hours. Can a Powerwall 3 be added to a Powerwall 2? As of right now, the answer is no. However, there is a rumor that Tesla is working on a update that will allow this. So stay tuned. Can a Powerwall 3 be added to a Powerwall Plus? Again, right now, the answer is no, but it might be added in the future. So again, just stay tuned. And I do believe that Tesla will have an update. So the Powerwall 3 has higher peak power than the previous Powerwalls and a lot of other batteries on the market. And so I did want to mention a couple uh, updates on the specs. Um, for the LRA, which is a, a number that we use to determine whether a battery can start up an air conditioner, um, this number has been revised to LRA 185 and 48 amps. This is very strong, and this can start up almost any air conditioner. So if you want to check your air conditioner, uh, check your outdoor compressor unit. On there will be a nameplate, and find the LRA number. You'll see here I circled 83. Um, and again, the Powerwall 3 can do 185 LRA. So the Powerwall 3 can actually power two of these at once. Um, this is very strong. Some of the previous power walls, you would have needed two power walls to do this. So again, the power wall three is a huge improvement. Now let's hear a quick word from our sponsor, Solar Reef. How much money are you losing with dirty solar panels? Dirty solar panels severely reduce energy production. Contrary to popular belief, rain alone isn't enough to keep solar panels clean. Dirt, pollen, salt, and bird poop can build up quickly. Introducing Solar Reef. Solar Reef is a DIY solar panel cleaning system. Solar Reef uses 200 powerful water jets, ultra soft bristles, and solar water capsules to remove stubborn dirt, grime, pollen, and bird poop, leaving your solar panels clean and sparkling. Ultra soft bristles ensure your panels remain scratch free. A 12 foot pole is included for easy reach, an optional 20 foot pole is available. Clean solar panels means more energy and more savings. Solar Reef, the DIY solar cleaning system. Order now with promo code GREENGREG for an extra 10% off. See the pinned comments, Solar Reef. So here's another new update. Tesla Powerwall Expansion Pack. Let me explain. So if you're satisfied with the power output of the Powerwall 3, However, you want more runtime, for instance, more hours of backup, you can just get a expansion pack. And so the expansion pack is a battery only without the other electronics. This is about $1,000 less in cost, so it's a great way to save some money. Can you stack Powerwall 3? Yes, you can. And can you add more Powerwalls later? Absolutely. Are Powerwalls eligible for tax credits in the USA? Yes, they are. Even if you're adding a Powerwall to an existing solar system, or you're just getting a Powerwall and not getting solar or don't have solar, it is eligible for the tax credit. And so the form you want is $56.95. I'll leave a link to it in the comments. At the time of the video, they did not have the 2024 uh, form available. However, when they do update, um, I will also update my link and I'll put that in the pinned comments for your reference. Can Powerwall 3 be installed outside? Absolutely. It is outdoor rated. Is the Tesla Powerwall 3 waterproof? Um, well, let me explain. The Tesla Powerwall 3 can get wet, not a problem. But as far as being submerged in water, Tesla Powerwall 3 says the first two feet can be submerged in water and it'll work just fine. Um, but more than that could possibly damage the Powerwall. 
So if you're in an area that's flood prone, um, I would recommend uh, trying to put it high up as you can. Does Powerwall 3 need a gateway? Yes, you will need a Tesla backup gateway 3 or 2 or the new Tesla backup switch. Uh, please note, uh, check with the utility. Um, so far, no utilities in Florida have approved the backup switch. I will leave a link in the description and the pinned comments of the utilities that have approved the Tesla backup switch. How much does a Powerwall cost? Well, first, let's look at what all is involved. It's not just the Powerwall battery. Again, you need a gateway or backup switch. You need engineering drawings stamped by an engineer, permitting and inspections, labor, and support and warranty service. All these things do cost money. But just in general, a Powerwall 3 costs roughly about sixteen dollars to 22000 or so. After tax credit, that's about eleven two dollars to fifteen four. dollars um, Additional Powerwalls are at a lower price. Like I said, you get the expansion pack. Um, that saves $1,000. But also, the Gateway can handle multiple Powerwalls. And also, the engineering, permitting, uh, those are the same no matter how many Powerwalls you get. So additional Powerwalls are a lower cost. But like I said, for the average home that's a couple thousand square foot, um, you probably only need one power wall anyway, um, unless you're doing something crazy like you're doing crypto mining or you have a really large house with high power use. So hey, don't forget about our sponsor, Solar Reef. Check it out. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments and use the promo code GreenGreg for an extra 10% off. Thank you. Solar by Green Greg here, and on this channel we cover home solar PV and battery, solar pool heating, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without any clickbait or sales talk. Listen, I've been in the solar industry now for 17 years. So I know all the tips and the tricks and gimmicks, but I'm also a homeowner just like you. I now know how it is. You know, sometimes you're just trying to get information, right? If that's you, you're just trying to get information, Hey, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Here's the next video. Bye-bye for now.